as I mentioned before, this is a remix that I'm doing for a Denver-based band. They're friends of mine, 888. The song is called Critical Mistakes. And here's the chords that I've written for the um, main kind of chorus area. So one of the things that I talked about yesterday on the live stream was that um, usually like it's easy to take something that's poppy like this. It's a very poppy progression, but once you start throwing in a seventh or um, kind of other abstract notes in there, it really changes up the feel of it quite drastically. Um, one of the other important things that I think is, that I think is just kind of mandatory for me is to use the same number of notes in each chord. There's a number of benefits to this. Um, one of the first ones is that I can change the polyphony count on my synthesizer to that number. So, and I'll show you why that's cool. One, two, three, four, five, pretty simple. All of these have five in them. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, etc. So if I change the polyphony count to five, you can you can add some extra cool layers of automation in um, with the release time because whenever you pull up the release amount, when that next chord hits, it's going to trigger and override the past five with the new five because five is the maximum. So. So that's one thing that I always, always, always do. Um, but so going into actually the um, chords themselves, I'll take off these um, effects that I've got and it'll probably play a little louder, but I was at 14, I'm gonna remember that for my mix, so I'll pull it down. So. The basis of these chords is just a super saw. I've got two oscillators with sawtooth waves on them, detuned a bit, and the blend of this is at 70. I don't, I mean, it's just all of this is kind of done to your own listening taste. How far you spread it. Um, I'm, I'm at 0.11 right now, but. take it a little wider, sounds different. I'm going to set it back to 11, I really like that. So Sawtooth, 16 notes on it, 16 voices, if you will. Um, one of the things that's really nice about these chords is that I have set up um, two different envelopes here, and they're doing two different things. The second envelope is assigned to this cutoff. So right now I've got automation on it, but if I pull this cutoff down, you'll hear the plucky aspect of it. So that gives you a little extra flexibility. And then here's my favorite thing about these is I've got envelope three set up with a super tight decay. If I go into the matrix of Serum, my synth of choice right now, I've got this set to master tuning. Um, looking at the type is pretty important here. This arrow indicates um, that it will only go positive of the note on the master tune. If I pulled this down, it would go 22 in the positive and negative direction, and I don't want that. So I only want it in the positive and what this does is that it gives, I've got it at 8.9. Gives a little T 
tick at the front. And that's like really important to getting those chords to really attack. So the next thing I did was added some reverb on this. And then added X for OTT. This is a free plugin available on xforrecords.com slash freeware, I believe. Don't kill me if that's not true anymore. Um, and then I've turned the depth of it down a bit. And what this is doing, it's a multi-band compressor. What it's doing is it's gluing this reverb to the, the chords themselves. So it's making it stand out, but to the point where um, the chords are still, um, when they're compressed together, that reverb kind of is underemphasized when the chords are present, so the chords still kind of strike through. And you can do some really cool things with the time here. I've got it at 271, so I'll remember that. Basically what that will do is um, it's the amount of time that uh, the re that the reverb will kind of pump back up in this situation. Uh, let's click compare. And last but not least. This is just more so for the sake of my mix. Got a low cut at 96 and a little extra lift on the top and then high cut. So there you have it. How to make some super saw chords um, that are just awesome.